Wow, a Filipina online in the wild. <laughs> a Filipina online. Imagine that. You ready to go, Chrissy? Hey. Yeah. Can you believe we've been together for almost three years? Actually, no, we've been together for three years. Yeah. And married for two. Does it seem like it's gone by quickly or slow? Oh. <laughs> really slowly? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> there you have it, guys. It has been three years. Three years of me and Chrissy. And look where we are. Living in the Philippines. I never would have expected this out of my life, but hey. Life is unexpected sometimes. What do you think? Life is unpredictable. Life is unpredictable? Yes. Is it a little bit more predictable now that you're with me? Not really. <laughs> Still an adventure? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, now she tells me to change my clothes after I've already dressed myself. Why did you tell me to change my clothes? Because you've been wearing it for like three days. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're getting to the car. You're always taking a shower, but you're wearing the same clothes over and over again. <laughs> There you have it, small insight into our, into our life. Wow, you wrote my name as a heart, Chrissy. Yeah, I know. You must really love me. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I want to say thank you to our sponsor for this video. ChristianFilipina.com There's a link below in the description and also in the pinned comment. And um, Chrissy and I, as you guys well know, we met online. Yeah. And um, we just talked about us three years together. Yes. Three years of us actually living together. And um, not every couple gets to come to the Philippines and stay here together. And um, so this is a great website to get to know women get to know men of a faith based on Christian Filipina and um, so you can go on that website you can check out who's available and make yourself available that's the important thing and take a little bit of a chance you might find your Chrissy like I did or maybe someone even more fantastic than Chrissy yeah which is hard for me to believe but another cool thing about Christian Filipina guys, they also have a sister site called FilipinoVisa.com. And FilipinoVisa.com helps you take the next step in the process. Yeah. So they do um, visas for Filipinos. Mm -hmm. Filipinas. Yeah. And um, what I, they're, they've also offered to help us. Did you know that? Yeah, I know. Yeah, they offered to help us. Yeah. And so we'll be taking advantage of that and um, so I also wanted to list Filipino visa and what they have available um, down below because it's kind of hard for me to get it all out in the in the in the video but um, another thing that we might take advantage of also is since we're in the middle of a green card process but is the CBRA they do um, kids uh, children uh, consul consular birth report abroad for Americans of children born abroad so I thought that was a really interesting fact about Filipino Visa. So, look happy, Chrissy. We're doing an ad. I'm happy. <laughs> she is happy. Oh, so, yeah. so guys, um, just want to thank the team for the sponsorship at Filipino Visa, FilipinoVisa.com and um, ChristianFilipina.com. And maybe you guys will be as lucky as I am is fortunate and is blessed to find a faith-based wife yeah. or girlfriend like Chrissy. So thank you very much for sponsoring this video. Oh, you can see right here. You sit here, we sit here. Do you want to 
sit next to you. Do you know what tomorrow is? Tomorrow's fiesta. Yeah. Except we don't have anything planned for it. Yeah, why? Why did you not order any food or anything? I can order it tonight. No. Yes. We just end up feeding a bunch of people. Not There's really. There's no celebration. Not really because last everyone year was is... so boring. It's... Usually a bunch of people get drunk and it's funny. It's because guys, um, a lot of people are scared of COVID. That's why. But right now, Timoy, um, there won't be people who's going to go inside our property be to eat because um, what they call this. A lot of people are like celebrating it. Like as yeah. you can see, there's just a lot of people right here right now. A lot of people like Jet Jet. We're doing bingo. <laughs> hey, show everyone my shirt. Huh? My shirt. Show everyone my shirt. Is it too? Is it too big? Yes. Nike. You don't like it? Hey, whose phone is this? Jet Jet. Wow, Jet Jet is an iPhone now. Ding ding? Yeah, this is Hannah's phone before, but Hannah um, allowed ding ding to use it. Oh, wow. Everyone's got the tech. So why is everything all open and free now? Why is everything open and free? There's only a, a couple of people hiding their faces like Jet. Because not in here anymore. Jet, are you trying to stay away from the sun? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really hot right now. Yeah. It's really, uh, these lights. So, so this is supposed to start at seven and it's now. Yeah, they said that. that 723? I think you can see at the back of the car that it says like 7. Yeah, it says, says 7. seven. But so these are all the dependable people in the neighborhood. What? You should really get me some coffee. Are you kidding me? You haven't gotten a dang thing for me all day today. I did. You've had such a lazy day. Wait, wait, one of the prizes is a sack of rice? Yes, yeah, one sack of rice. Are you serious? Yes, my first card will win. Are you willing to bring That's why I brought the motorbike. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're going to allow you to bring your motorbike. You have to carry it. On oh, heck no, I'll leave it here. <laughs> I'd rather go buy it and put it at a store and put it on my motorbike than carry that thing home. Even if I won it. You know I'm gonna win. You know I'm gonna win like the biggest prize and everyone's gonna hate me. Don't worry, you're not going to win. Yeah, I will. I, will. I never knew you were such a perfectionist until I saw the way you kept your apartment. Oh, I don't like everything to get dirty. Why? It's like perfect. It's like all organized. Oh, well, thank you. Do you have a yaya at your. Um, at your boarding house? No. <laughs> Why? I just didn't know if you did cleaning anymore, if that was something you did. No, I always, every time I come um, after I finish our our class, I always go to our, my apartment and clean. I always clean. Who's watching Dale right now? My mom. No, yes, my mom to watch Dale. Are you serious? Because if I'm going to bring Dale here, I told my mom that can you watch Dale because I want to have fun tonight because tomorrow we'll have a duty so I'm going to have a stressful week okay, so my mom said okay wow nice mom do you not do you know that they're going to um get uh, they're going to kill one of their pigs tomorrow for fiesta they're killing one of their pigs yeah do you know that your mom's pig is pregnant yeah your mom's pig is always pregnant why aren't you always pregnant? I'm not a pig. Chrissy, see that uh, that lady's shirt? That lady's shirt. What, what 
It says my wife has an awesome husband. Great. <laughs> I gotta love the Philippines. You're more than awesome. I'm more than awesome. All right. Do you have a lucky number, Chrissy? What's your lucky? Do you have one number that if it hits, it helps you on all your boards? What? Do you have one number that, you, that is on all your sheets? I don't know. I didn't check. I really appreciate the fact that we opened up the gambling with a word of prayer. That's pretty incredible. That's the first time in my life I've ever gone gambling and uh, opened it up with a word of prayer. But that's, that's no, the Philippines. They're hoping that they're that it's one uh, or the black person will going to win um, a sack of rice. <laughs> <laughs> they should have Rotaker with them and let him run around. I have one. Yeah, great. I need 069. <laughs> Ah, Do you like 21? Oh, yay! Hi, 21? Yeah. I have one. She needs one more. She needs one more. She just needs B3. Yeah. I tell me. Is anyone close? You. Just me? Just me and her? Just yeah, us two? Yeah. She needs a she's a B3, right? She's a B3. I gotta run? The card you gave them? Yeah, <laughs> Chrissy gave away the winning card. Yeah. Oh, I just needed 69. What? Four dollars. How much did she win? Four dollars to each person who wins. Four dollars to the person that wins? Yeah. It will be like four dollars, but it's only not even a dollar. Wait, how much did they win? Forty pesos. That's how much the guy was charging me for a card. They won forty pesos? Yeah, it's because there's plenty of them who won. Oh, because there's so many that won. Yeah. That guy's bumming right there. It's like 40 pesos. It's like winning a scratcher's ticket back. <laughs> How much? Two dollars each. A hundred pesos? Yeah. So now, the big winner. Let's see. <laughs> ding, ding. Oh, yeah. So today is some day they call fiesta. I have yet to figure out what this means, even though it's my third year here. And uh, 
there's some sort of religious connotation to it, but I haven't quite figured out what it means. And the last couple of years, well, it's been weird because of COVID, but there have been some events this time around. There's music playing in the background from neighbors. And uh, we're gonna go check out Christy's family, what they're doing. Dale. Did you eat, eat lechon, Dale? No lechon. What? There's no lechon. What do you mean there's no lechon? They ate all the lechon already? No lechon. All right, well this is uh... Oh. Nobody's at the house. No one's at the house. It's okay, Maximus is there. I'm gonna go back. Really? No, no lechon. No lechon. We'll bring you some food. Okay. Looks like Chrissy's parents, they got the uh... Little motorbike area. I thought this. I thought this was gonna be a sorry, sorry store. Yeah, but they changed their mind. They changed their mind. Went for a garage. All right. So here you have it. Motorbike stores. No sorry, sorry store. I was never on the sorry, sorry store uh, team. I'm glad they didn't do the sorry, sorry store, Chrissy. It's because it's just going to, a lot of people are just going to, you know, you know what I mean. No, I don't know what you mean. A lot of people were just going to, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay. I'm going back to the house. Okay. There's a bunch of uh, sound equipment arriving. I think there's gonna be like a disco there tonight or something. Maybe check that out. We've been married this long and you don't know the answer to this question? No, you should tell me the proper English. You don't know the answer to the question? I know you're the older, but... Oh, okay. I'm just talking. I'm the oldest brother. Yeah, I'm just... I'm the oldest sibling. No, there's a proper English for that. How many are you in the family <laughs> How, what is How many your... children do your parents have? But I don't know exactly because I'm like in the middle. What is the proper English for mine? My, am... my parents have... No, I am in the middle of my family. I'm the middle child. You no, see... Timo, there's... The, the question You say is... I'm the middle child. I think they will they will understand this, but, but the, the Tagalog for this one is... Um, Pang ilan ka sa inyong magkakapatid? So... I didn't do the proper English for that. Okay, well, someone will help you with that. Okay. <laughs> I thought you didn't. I thought you didn't know if I was the, the, the where I was in the birth order. You know, of, my family. of course, I know. I'm just trying to ask because a lot of people, a lot of Filipino doesn't know the answer for that. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Glad that was your problem. The major problems of Chrissy. Well, you have so many problems in your life. Like your broken computer. Oh, yes. I'm going to look for it. Oh, here you go. I found that in mine. What? What? What is it? The answer. What's the answer? Wait. Wait, I'm going to... I'm going to tell you the answer. Okay, what's the answer? Wheat. Oh, I found it. What is your chronological order in the family? Oh, you don't ask that. That's like, <laughs> what are you, a scientist? Are you some sort of like in sociologist, a family order, researcher? Do you yeah, if you're a research things? scientist, you'd say something like that. You're not supposed to say that. Yeah, if you're like a researcher or a sociologist. But if you're just a normal Filipino. But if you're a normal person, you would just say, how many children do your parents have? How many siblings do you have? What not not you what chronological order are you? It's not science. No, but what if you're in the middle? Yeah, you could ask that. Or, like, you could ask that. It makes sense. It's good, it's good English. What if you're... But it's not... 
It's not normally that. So yeah, that. I'm just trying to say what if you're the second brother? What is your what is your order in your family? I can wait whatever. I don't know if there's a good way in English. Sometimes there's a good way to say something in Tagalog that doesn't directly translate to English. Oh, I think this is also right. It's what called is, language, Chrissy. Timoy, I think this is also right. What is your birth order among your siblings? Like, there's things you can say in Russian that, that just don't make sense in English. Yeah. I'm sure there's things in Tagalog mm -hmm. that just don't make sense in in English. Yes. So, yeah, that, there's probably not a direct translation. So maybe the Tagalog speakers will help with this one. Anyway, random, random times with Chrissy. <laughs>